Ryan! I'm glad you're here. We're getting a budget. Hey, all right. Neo Geo is for everybody. And Switchblade. Yeah. Sorry, fellas. I already spent it. Time Trotters, an elite video game task force charged with keeping our classic games safe from whatever nefarious evil seeks to destroy them. Hop back in time with the team before it's too late. Pretty nice, huh? Huh? Oh, oh. The evil jerks at Nuke.com are getting stronger by the episode, but they can't kill you if you're a cartoon, am I right? Yeah, good, whatever. Where's my badge? Can we get some nice clothes too? <sighs> you can do better than new threads, fellas. Think big. Can I, ooh, can I make all kinds of gadgets? Sure thing! Yes! Can I know Kung Fu? Done! Haha, <laughs> you know it! I want laser vision. I summon the power of rock! How about some real Hulk hands? Some wings. And I want Raleigh Fingers' mustache. And I want to be able to morph into Casper Van Dien. Halo and Halo 2, and which is just Starship Troopers, anyhow. It's just them trying to go off on Starship Troopers. Right now, right, Halo. Copyright infringement. They stole Starship Troopers. They should pay! <laughs> They're really Starship Troopers, that's what it is. I'm sorry, I'm, but it is. I know, I was in the movie, come on. I read the book, I did the movie, and then they have Halo, and all of a sudden it's like, okay. Good. Gotten it out of your system? Oh man. Weak. Now take the Mr. Games X Teen, which, as you know, can play any video game ever made, recording its contents and keeping it safe from the evil jerks at Nuke.com. Those guys are jerks. I'll say. Why do they keep stealing games from the past? You heard, Ryan. They are jerks. Let's do this, nerds. All right. Today, we're sending you to 1999. It's up to you two to save Wu-Tang Shaolin style for the PlayStation. You're going straight to the source, Old Dirty's living room, so watch your toes. Oh, we'll be ready. No, I mean watch your toes. Go, robot! Nerds! So what are you doing after this? I'm too much of a sandwich. Maybe burrito. Oh, a burrito sounds pretty good. Hey, Ryan, what are you doing? Oh, look at Look at all these games. Where do they come from? Do you think ODB is working for Nuke.com? He's got to be. Oh, wait. These are all copies of Wu Tang Shaolin style. Yeah, these two. Let's do this. Ah, Sony. Wu Tang Shaolin style. A PlayStation classic. Oh, yeah, so Paradox here. Uh, these guys developed this game called Thrill Kill, and it was a four-player fighting game, and it was uh, it was not good. And then their publisher was purchased, 
And then the new, the, the people that owned the rights then decided that they didn't want to put it out because the game was dumb. So they used the engine, they, they basically took the game and threw in uh, all the members of the Wu-Tang Clan. Whoa! There is another powerful discipline, that of Wu-Tang. The sole master of this ancient art is Xin. I will force him to reveal the ways of Wu-Tang to me and merge our two disciplines into one, making us invincible. The world that has How do you get from rap group from New York to, yo, check it out, we're in China, these dudes are fighting the, for the ancient ways. Like, how, this how is all, that this is, this is all part. This is all part of the RZA's five-year plan. The RZA is pretty much the big martial arts dork out of the Wu, right? I mean, you, you do get the feeling in this game that the RZA really wanted to do this, that he was still had his crazy obsession with old 70s kung fu movies. And that everyone else is just like, ah! That's that's probably why I think he's the only real Wu Tang <laughs> voice in the whole game, right? Oh! Sin is in trouble! Countdown! What? Who? Count countdown! How come you ain't got my sword when I let you hold it? Ooh, now the good stuff. Yeah, now the, now the part where you get to play this awesome fighting game. Spectre Deck doesn't need a weapon. He is he is the golden arms, after all. No, I think that's someone else. I don't... <laughs> so in this game, uh, dudes just basically gang up on you and just kind of jack you. You've, you've got this kind of this brown box, uh, which I guess in this case is uh, it's a basketball court. Yay, deck has four chambers. That's well on well on our way here to it's just for just for starting the game you get the first chamber. That's like, good. Hey, here you go. Join the quest. That one four hit combo. Thank you. So, because Mortal Kombat is cool, they decided that this game needed fatalities, finishing moves. Each character in the game has four, but you have to unlock all of them. So you just you start off with just the one. What do you have to do to unlock them? It's the chambers, man. You gotta you gotta fill out the chambers. The more chambers you get, the more fatalities you get. And then depending on which button you finish them with is what fatality it does. So you oh. don't even, there's not even like an elaborate process. It just kind of just kind of happens. And then Wuji basically takes the Riza and does that to him, and he just kind of blows up. All right, you're having all the fun here, Jeff. So let's jump into some multiplayer. God, yes. So we can both enjoy it. Let's get some, let's mix it up. Let's yeah, make we'll this a true four player dudes, experience like here. Ghostface, pretty Tony himself. And, uh, and you got, uh, get you got in there. He's my favorite. Oh, so many choices. How about the airport hangar? Which is different from all the other levels in that it's uh, kind of a box. In what can only be seen as an incredibly wise move, the developers didn't uh, include any real kind of easy way to direct who your attacks are aimed at. So you just kind of have to play by feel, which uh, doesn't work so well. It feels terrible. All right, real quick like here, let's just see a fatality from each one of these guys. That would be much better than actually playing the game. Definitely, make so, that happen. X team, little yellow, yellow dude. Whoosh, whoa, the Matrix. Hey, where'd he go? He was just, oh, oh, ah! See, the Jizza is different because he's got this chain thing and he's wearing headphones because hip hop. Check this out. Yeah. Oh, dude, that would hurt so bad. I don't even like being poked in the solar plexus just a little bit. You could stop. You could stop. Oh. That was done a while ago. Don't mess with big baby Jesus. <laughs> Plug in, son. Get connected. Will do. On it, boss. That was all he did back there? This game has personality. Oh, brother, does it. Each character in the game has a taunt that showcases a little bit of unique flair from each one of the nine members of the world. Really? Dig it. That's so meth. Dig it. And he's all so all right, well that's kind of Riza. I, I don't know what this genuine thing is with the giant hammer. Yeah, that's, but I'm gonna keep doing it. It's kind of gross. All right, I think that's enough multiplayer. Let's, yeah, let's I'm get back I'm into done. The story mode and. 
I, I want to see how that gripping we'll narrative see how, ends. Let's see how this story ends. See if we can beat it. Mr. Games, let's skip ahead to the last part and make it fast. Well, now, see, this would be the last level. I go, why don't you just go in? Let's go to the last level. We're here. Apparently, we can't. That's... Even the power of the Mr. Games X Teen is, is can't even get us well, to the last Oh, you know what it is? The there is level. a piece of wood around your knees. Yeah. And to, to remove that piece of wood, you have to unlock all, like, 35 of the 36 chambers. Couldn't he just hop over the piece of wood? He can barely run, dude. That's fair. Oh, it's Raiden. Hey, Raiden. Yeah, that's... That, oh, he Jeez. held his foot to my throat until my head blew up. So, Jeff, you're kind of getting your uh, your ass handed to you here. Yeah. Uh, this game isn't really set up for you to fight dudes that move this quickly and have electric power that basically kills you. So it, it's kind of an unfair fight to give to you when, when all along you've been facing the same kind of slow, dumb uh, characters. But as a benefit, we get to see Raiden uh, kill me with no, his fatality. It's not, it's, uh, I think he's gonna do the one, what? I thought Fujin was supposed to be the god of wind. What? He's weather, it's all of it. He's not weather, he's just- he's, he's, He can summon the power of weather. It said so in the thing. All right. All right, practice mode. Maybe now you can beat the game. Yeah, maybe with a little practice here I can figure out what I've what I've been doing wrong. Find the hidden depth in this game. Like this move, for example. Jab. Jab cross. The one-two. The mini elbow. Mini elbow hilt charge. The stomach stab. The sword scissors. The scissors combo. Wu-Tang swords. Hit swap. Analog. Analog indeed, Riza. The skewer spin throw. And that gong sounds uh, that I've done all the moves. Fantastic. Yeah, so uh, that's... So now that you know how to actually play... Now that I actually know how to play, I know enough to know that I, I don't really want to play it. Fantastic. Maybe we should just skip right to the ending and watch that. Yes. All right, now we get to see what's up with the master. Ha ha, <laughs> psych. Fool you. What are you waiting for, coward? Finish the job. Oh, the secrets of the Wu-Tang are tattooed on his chest. And All the chambers right there on the... Oh. Ugh. Old man skin that you can see through. The stunning conclusion. Yeah, so... Huh, what an interesting light source in this room. You cannot begin to fathom my awesome power. I've got one just like it, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Snaps! Kid. Snaps! Huh? <laughs> Fool! You got a sensor, you know, if, if there's, like, poisonous gas release, and it just knows. Just like, oh, close the door. Hey, junior boy. Push your daddy! And he's all, oh, glass or plastic? Oh, that's gonna go poorly for him. It's one of those things that we wish we could uninvent. And why is the door opening? Because it has another sensor that when it detects other poison gas, it opens the door. And then why is it exploding? It's exploding with Wu Tang energy. The, uh, the exploding with nonsense. The power of the Wu. And then they're rising up out of the rubble. All 36 of them. And Yoda's and there too. Teletubbies is on, also. And it, it cannot be overstated. That is a lamp made out of that dude's skin. Ew! Yeah. So that's it, Wu-Tang Shaolin style Represent. for the PlayStation. Represent it's, it's, the Wu. It's razor blade sharp, son. Wu World Order. This is a great fighting game. Time Trotters. Looks like another amazing game will forever be remembered, thanks to the Time Trotters. Yeah. We're pretty good. Nice work, Time Trotters. Now let's get out of here before ODB shows up. Thanks, we're cool. He's off getting us some burritos. Wait, do they have burritos in 1999? They do now. Besides, it's not like he can get us some in 2007. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, he's a cool cat. Wait, shut up for a second. Guys, TR's picking up some danger. Be alert. Uh, 
Ah, uh, just kidding. Let's get out of here. Come on, Santa Vangler! Raw! Curse you, time trotters. How did you know I was going after Shaolin style next? That's all right. You still have no idea how far my evil plan reaches. What's going on, Palo Mine? Hip at nuke.com. These time trotters are becoming a nuisance. I believe it is time we took care of them. On it, boss. Wonderful. <laughs> now to more important matters. Uh, wagon tongues or wagon axles? Yes, another amazing game will forever be remembered thanks to the Time Trotters. But what's up with those bad guys? And what is a wagon tongue anyways? Stay tuned for these answers and more in our next episode, Dear Stevedore, or Take This Job and Shove It, The Warehouse Game.